Let's go! Move it, move it! things first. Take a look around your cockpit and familiarize yourself with the layout. It's imperative to quickly find and access specific controls. Last thing you want to be doing in a scrap is bringing up the instructions. You'll notice the majority of your systems are disabled. I'll be controlling when they're on and offline to simulate potential scenarios and combat situations. Let's get ready for takeoff. I'll do this step by step to show you how it's done. Systems, check. Engines, check. Tower, permission for launch. Clear for launch. Copy that, tower. All right, first I want to lift vertically until I'm just clear of the landing pad. Now that I'm clear, I can straight forward onto the taxiway. Now I square my ship up with the ceiling doors, ready for a vertical takeoff. Once you're aligned, the tower will open the doors. That's it. Once I clear out, it'll be your turn. Ready? I'm enabling your systems. We'll monitor your progress from up here. Clear for launch. Nice. You're clear of the pad. Okay, now straight forward onto the taxiway. If you need it, the tower should have lit up your path. Make sure you don't pitch or roll. It'll be tough to get back into proper alignment. Don't align yourself with the middle of the doors. You'd be surprised how many crews forget that the cockpit is not the center of the ship. The tower will open the doors once you're lined up. You're lined up. Just enabled your targeting system. Use it to target me. so you still have to steer, but you'll notice that once you're locked, your computer will continue to monitor my speed and adjust. It doesn't matter if I speed up slowly or stop fast. That, my friend, is the Spire. Isn't she a beauty?
Moving on. Now this is my favorite part of training. The barrel roll. <laughs> so much fun. Rolling is a great way to orient your ship to fit through tight gaps or evade incoming fire. Now you give it a go. Nice one. Well, you seem to be able to handle your ship, so let's see if you can handle a bit of combat. Check your radar. You should have a contact. Don't worry. It's just a training drone. It handles just like the real thing, but its weapons are less than lethal. Saying that, they still pack a punch, so try not to take any hits if you don't have to. Use your targeting system to quickly target the closest enemy. Shields are drawn as panels floating around the ship. They'll shrink as they weaken until they disappear completely. At that point, your shots will hit the hull and cause lasting damage. Now your weapons are online. Line up your target and fire when you're ready. Good shot. See a shield weakening on your hut? Yeah, it didn't like that. What are you waiting for? Go finish it off. Now you have a target. You'll have extra aim reticules. Those are predicted impact points, or pips. They'll show you where to shoot to hit a moving target. Notice you have multiple pips with varying lag. Each of those indicates a weapon on your ship. The computer's trying to compensate for the varying speeds between your ballistic and energy projectiles. Missile locking sensors are on the nose, so keep your target in front of you long enough to lock off. Good kill. On me, rookie. On me, let's go! Let's move on. Uh-oh. Looks like he had a friend. Take a look in your review camera. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. That hit took out your weapons. You'll have to hold out till they come back. Countermeasures are still online. Use them. Last missile was heat-seeking, so equip your flares. Helpful tip, don't boost after dropping one. Boosted thrusters are much hotter than a flare. Flares have a short lifetime. Don't be too quick to fire them. Another pro tip, countermeasures are fired backwards, so never fly at a missile head-on, launch countermeasure, and expect it to work. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. You got your guns back, but I'll need more time to get your missiles up. If the drone gets behind you, enter decoupled mode to disengage your main engines and allow you to spin your ship around while retaining your original vector. It's a great way to dissuade your pursuer, but make sure you've checked your path ahead first. Give it a try. Just remember to disengage when you're done. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. You're taking hits. Check your heart for shield and damage status. Fire and control. 
Cold bursts. We'll give your weapons time to cool, or they'll overheat. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. Ease up. Your weapons are getting hot. He's got lock. Missiles incoming. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. Got locked. Missiles incoming. You got your missiles back. Take it out. Good kill. We're heading back to the landing pad to restock and refuel for the final part of your training. On me, rookie. Waiting on you, kid. You did good back there, kid. Let me guess, you're an Arena Commander fan. This should be close enough. Once landing mode's active, your heart's gonna swap out your combat systems for landing-specific functionality. You can cycle through available landing pads, the same as cycling through targets. Once you've targeted a landing pad, request permission to land. Go ahead and pick a landing pad. Your radar is replaced by the landing system. It'll guide you to your pad and help you perform a safe landing. You can use the automatic ETL landing procedure or do the whole thing manually. Make sure your ship stays within the bounds of the pad and keep your eye on your pitch and roll.
touchdown. Great work. While we're waiting, feel free to take a look at your ship's setup. In there, you'll see your weapon groups, shield configuration, and power distribution. Now, wouldn't mess around with them during training. Topped off. Let's get back out there. Take off when you're ready. If you need to get up to top speed in a hurry, try boosting. Think you could stay on my tail? You can also use it to overpower your maneuvering thrusters in order to take tighter corners. You do have a limited amount that takes time to replenish, so don't go nuts with it. If you need to cut your speed in a hurry, use your space brake. It's much quicker than dialing back your engines, and the moment you let go of it, you'll automatically accelerate back up to your previous speed. Think you can put all this together? Let's see. Still with me, kid? Good job. Now one thing you need to understand, every ship's outfitted with systems to look out for you. That last sharp turn, you probably felt your ship clamp down on the speed. That's your G-Safe system kicking in. Making sure that you aren't taking too many G-forces and blacking out. If you need to get that extra edge in turning, you can disable G-Safe, but be warned. An unconscious pilot turns to a dead one pretty quick. You also have ComStep, which adjusts your forward velocity so you can make controlled turns. Disabling ComStep will allow you to maintain your velocity in turns, but you will drift wider. Think fast. Still with me? All right. I'm a little impressed. Race you to the spire. Hold on. I've got contacts inbound. Contact. Bando fighter. Get ahead. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. All your systems are active. This is a live fire encounter. Copy that. I got the other. Good luck. Mark your target. Stay short. We've got more hostiles inbound. Looks like there's a glaive in the mix. That glaive's a recognized ace. Enemy designation is tank. We're gonna have to work together to take it down. Target the glaive.
Good kill. Glaive's down. You're cleared to engage the rest. Training session, huh? Danger. Radiation critical. I'm getting erratic power spikes from your ship. It must have hit your power plant. Your ship's loaded with military intel, so we can't let it fall into enemy hands. You'll have to initiate self-destruct before you eject. Close there, kid. Let's get you back to base. First round's on me.